<laughs> hey, hey everyone and welcome to another video. In today's video I'm going to go over the top 10 reasons why I use a fanny pack and why I love them on trail. Two weeks ago I did a video like this on backpacking umbrellas and I asked you all to leave comments below if you use them and why you use them and we got some great responses. I feel like we could do butterfly. It seems like we could do a whole nother video on all the different reasons why you all use your umbrellas because there's a lot of good ones out there. So for this video I would ask you again if you use a fanny pack let us know in the comments below so we can figure out how many people are actually out there using these and let us know why you use them because I'm sure you have some good reasons that are beyond what I use mine for. I can tell you one thing that's going to be a common denominator among all of these is convenience. These things are just so convenient. Oh, and stick around to the end of the video where I will show you what I normally carried in my fanny pack when I was on the AT this last year. Reason number one is snack storage or snack cess, if you will. When I'm hiking on a trail, I do not like to have to reach into my pack or take off my pack when I get a snack. I want to be able to just grab a snack, eat it while I'm hiking and keep moving, not have to take a break, not have to dig through my pack or anything. And a fanny pack is perfect for that. When I get up in the morning, I unzip my fanny pack and I load it with all my snacks for the day, take off hiking, and I just eat them as I need them. Simple as that. Reason number two is photography or videography. So if you're like me and you shoot a lot of video or photo on trail, having all of that camera gear at your access right in the front of your pouch here is just beyond convenient. It's the best way to do it. In my fanny pack I would keep my phone, my tripod, I had these little moment camera lenses that I would keep with me and having them all there able to interchange them or set up the tripod whenever I need it was a game changer for me and it really allowed me to shoot more video on trail. Also having that easy access right there means you're not going to miss shots like in the Shenandoahs when Tara and I stumbled across a bear climbing down a tree, a couple of bears actually. If I had to dig into my pack to find my camera, I would have missed that shot, but being able to just pull it up and shoot immediately means A, I'm not scaring off the wildlife, and B, I actually capture those shots when they happen. So definitely the way to go. Also, if you use a microphone with your video setup, this is a great place to store it convenient. Reason number three is it keeps your gear dry. Now I use a light AF fanny pack on trail and I really like it. I'll probably do a gear review on this soon if you'd like to see that. Most fanny packs out there use somewhat waterproof materials. This uses Dyneema and waterproof zippers so it does have a very high water resistance but in itself I wouldn't say it's waterproof. But the cool thing is when you pair this up with an umbrella or when you tuck your rain jacket over it this is now a dry bag that you can keep your gear safely in. Like I said earlier, when I was on trail, I kept my camera and my phone in here, and when it was raining, I knew that it would be dry and safe, and not only that, I had access to it while it was raining, and that applies to really anything in here. If you think about it, most people use a backpack cover in the rain, and having to stop in the middle of the rain and take off the cover and dig through the pack and risk getting everything wet is really not ideal so you can pack whatever you need into your fanny pack know that it's going to be safe from water and have access to it in the rain whenever you need to pretty cool reason number four is navigation whether you use your phone for navigation a paper map or even if you just need to read a compass or something having a place to store it where you can immediately access it and keep it dry like the map especially is a big bonus. I myself use gut hooks apps pretty frequently when I'm on a long trail through hiking or like a Gaia GPS app when I'm on a trail that's not as widely known and being able to just have my phone right in front of me pull it out check that I'm on the right route or just see where I'm at and then put it back down is a really nice way to navigate and it's super convenient once again. <laughs> Reason number five is trash. Trash on trail is always a nuisance and obviously you don't want to leave a trace so you have to put it somewhere. I just unzip my fanny pack, stuff it in, and at the end of the day when I'm eating my dinner, I unzip my fanny and put all my trash into my main trash bag. And that's such a nice way to do it. You don't have to worry about your trash falling out of your side pockets, packets, when you bring out your water bottle or something like that. And you don't have to worry about missing your pockets when you try to stuff trash there. You just have this nice little trash bin right in front of you. Easy peasy leave no trace. Reason number six why fanny packs are incredible are for town days on trail. Whether you're through hiking or even if you're just coming into a town after a backpacking trip, having your fanny pack there is really nice because you can put your wallet in it, you can put your essentials in it, you don't have to walk around with your gigantic backpack, you can store that somewhere, go to the grocery store, or go do laundry or anything like that, and you have access to your most essential items. Put your wallet in there, put your phone in there, put your hotel key in there that doesn't fit into your pockets. Which brings us to reason number seven why I love fanny packs and why many other people love fanny packs and that is pockets for the pocketless. So if you've ever worn a dress on trail, running shorts on trail, 
tights on trail, anything like that, especially women's clothing, you know that the pockets on it are either horrible or non-existent. And having this fanny pack is like having a giant pocket in front of you to make up for that lack of pockets elsewhere. Even on a lot of packs these days, you either don't have adequate or don't have any hip belt pockets and accessing your side pockets can be hard on certain pack frames. So having that quick pocket access right here makes up for the fact that a lot of women's clothing sucks pocket-wise and a lot of running shorts suck pocket-wise as well. Pockets are awesome. Reason number eight is emergency access. So a lot of people need to carry some type of emergency item that they need quick or instant access to on trail if something were to happen. For Tara, she carried an EpiPen in her fanny pack just in case she got stung by a wasp because she has an anaphylactic reaction to that. For other people, it could be blood sugar testing supplies, it could be emergency sugar, it could be your medical kit. There's all sorts of reasons where you might need to access something really fast or where someone else might need to access it off of you if something were to happen and fanny packs are a great place to put those things. Reason number nine, nine, why I love fanny packs is because they are like a junk drawer for your backpack setup. So if you have that junk drawer, junk drawer, so if you have that junk drawer in your kitchen where you keep all the little random accessories that you don't know where else to put them, this is kind of like that. And it's actually a great place for them because you don't have to dig through your pack to try to find all of these random little things you need. Personally, in my junk drawer on trail, I keep things like chapstick, my headlamp, a knife, a lighter. If it's a cold day, I might put my gloves in there. If it's a rainy day, I might put my rain skirt in there. My absolute favorite thing to put in my fanny pack is my toothbrush and my toothpaste. When I'm on trail getting started in the morning, I just pack up, eat a quick meal, and leave. And as I'm hiking, I'll then brush my teeth, which saves me time. And it means that I'm not spitting my toothpaste into the same place where all of the people staying on that campsite have been spitting it. So hopefully that is a little more leave no trace. I just make sure to not spit it directly on the trail and try to get it way off trail. That way I always know where my toothbrush gear is. I use it in the morning and at dinner time and it just lives here. And reason number 10 why you might want to use a fanny pack on trail is fashion. Have you seen this thing? It's pretty cool. You may have thought that fanny packs died in the late 90s, but I'm here to say that they are back with a vengeance and there are a lot of cool companies out there making some really cool looking fanny packs. So, is it fashion? <laughs> I think so. All right, well that's the big 10. Here are a few bonus reasons why I also enjoy using a fanny pack. First off, it feels to me like it's a counterbalance. So if you're hiking, normally all of your weight is on your back in your backpack and it kind of pulls you back a little bit. Having some weight up front and this could be total BS, but to me, it feels like it balances me out a little bit. And it just feels nice. I don't know why. Additionally, if you ever need to drop your pack and hike for some reason, or just drop your pack and go look at a vista, you have all of your essential gear right in front of you. You can just drop your pack and hike off. You don't have to dig through your pack for certain things you need. And to tie into that, if you ever need to do a privy run or a cat hole run to go dig a cat hole, if you put your hand sanitizer and toilet paper in your fanny pack, you can just drop your pack and shoot off into the woods to do your business, which is really nice when you gotta go bad. And let's just end the video on that note, why not? Oh, and I almost forgot. Here's a rundown of what I carried normally in my fanny pack on the AT. First off, I would keep my phone in this little outer pocket. Toothbrush, toothpaste, a little lens rag for my sunglasses or for my camera or my phone. My tripod, which is an ultra pod, really lightweight tripod which I would normally use with my phone, sometimes with other items. Tiny little chapstick, my headphones, which is really nice in a fanny pack because you can pop them on, pop them off. A mosquito head net in mosquito season. I carried these little moment lenses, which are like little camera lenses for your phone. Those were really handy to keep in here because you have to screw them on and off. My headlamp, so I always had access to it when I needed it. In the winter months, I would sometimes keep my gloves in there. Always gotta have a snack. And I would keep these little fiddly adapters, which I used on my Osmo Pocket camera gear. And they were not convenient to store anywhere else, but they were great in the fanny pack. That's a lot of stuff. And I always had random things going in and out, depending on my mood and what I needed for that day. But that generally sums it up. If you liked the video, I would greatly appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribed if you haven't. I've got great content coming soon. And if you haven't tried a fanny pack, maybe give it a shot. It changed my backpacking style. I hadn't used one until last year on the AT and on a whim I was like, you know what, this might be convenient for shooting video and after using one I'm never going back. I am totally sold on fanny packs, they'll be with me on my future trips for sure. 
and I found that I use it a lot just around town in normal life as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Do you like fanny packs, Lucy?